Hey Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin the Rescue Simmer and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 100 Foster Puppy Challenge. It is a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one Sim who starts to adopt as many puppies as you possibly can from the in-game adoption system and rehome them. So for us, that was Erin. Then she adopted Emma her daughter. So far, we have made it to 15 puppies that we are fostering. We are definitely going to be training our adult dogs to be ready for adoption. We have Elm, Birch, and Myrtle that are next. Erin and Emma just were having some breakfast. It's the day after Winterfest. We adopted Fur and Evergreen, who is sleeping. We will let her sleep. Erin is getting giddy over our little birch. We have Oreo, one of our OG puppies, who we have adopted as our own dog, is now an elder. Girl is not long for this world. Hopefully she's got some really good years left, really good days left with us. Ooh, Erin is gonna take care of that garden. We're gonna harvest everything. And you guys, you know what? The day after Winterfest, when we got all these decorations from rummaging in that attic box, we are going to sell our decorations because those are free to get and we need the cash. Awesome guys, it was almost a thousand simoleons, whew. I had said a few episodes ago that we were getting like, it was, it was feeling really small, it was feeling really cramped. Ooh, we can evolve that, look at that. And I definitely still think that. I want us to move, the lot itself is about 6,000 simoleons, a little more. And I would like to have at least that in the bank once we sell everything from this lot. Erin is gonna go clean a puddle, it looks like. And Emma is gonna keep training Myrtle. She had started training her for sit. And we wanna make sure that these dogs are as ready to go as possible. Oh, look, puppy party. It's chaotic sometimes, but when most of the dogs are adults and trained, and we've only got a couple of puppies, it's actually kind of cute, you guys. <laughs> oh, look at Emma. What a big girl. Yeah, no thanks. We don't we don't drink from puddles. We also don't bark. <gasps> Yay, Myrtle learned how to sit. Okay, Emma, it is time to go to school, my dear. Emma, let's have you try to make some friends. Definitely want her to feel like she fits in. Ooh, Erin wants to take a dog on. Oh, no, 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 for no, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. We do not play in those puddles. This is going to be, oh, our new milkshakey. This is going to be our new dog that needs a bath all the time. Oh, Evergreen is stubborn, cool. Power conservation day, oh. So our lights are not gonna work, but that's okay. Yeah, don't do that, that's gross. Can we brush this puppy? No, but we can give the puppy a bath. All right, so in the dark, why don't we go ahead and train Birch. He only has one trick that he knows. He needs three. Elm, I think, is the closest. He has two. So let's see. Train commands. Oh no, Elm only has one. Whoops. Oh, Emma met Mariah while she was in school. I can't wait to see these guys age up. I can't wait to see Elm and Birch and Myrtle in their homes and see who else we can adopt in. Oh, gross. Buddy. He is laying in a puddle and he got nasty. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then let's give him a bath after we train him. Okay, well, we've given up on Birch. He was um, sweet, but completely ignoring us. So <laughs> Elm, buddy, you're up. Let's go, dude. Let's roll over. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. You can do it. Yes, Elm learned to roll over. Nice job. Oh, <laughs> evergreen. Her head is so big. <laughs> she just keeps falling. Yeah, we're gonna go bathe Elm and then, ooh, gross. Let's empty that bowl. Oh my gosh. Look at Oreo. She really has been such a good girl. Oh my gosh. So good for the puppies that she has helped to raise and model. So let's go on into town to those gnomes arms. We will sell what we need to sell. And then let's hang out at the pub and see who we can see. All right, Adeline, you drive a hard bargain. Yes, girl, yes we do, thank you. All right, let's sell our chocolate berries, our crocuses, our lemons, and our spinach. Perfect, all right, thank you, girl. Let's bring Elm in the pub. I am going to just assume, until they tell me differently, that this is a dog friendly pub. And then we're just gonna train him his last trick. Nice job, Elm, he is learning to speak. I actually wanna take a look. What are his traits? He's a sleuth, he's a glutton, and he's aggressive. 
Oh boy. So I am thinking <laughs> that Elm needs to be an only dog. I would not be comfortable placing Elm in with other dogs. He has tolerated ours pretty well, um, but he thinks of them as family. Oh, Elm learned how to speak. Good boy. Who is this young man? Darren Bollinger. Let's enthuse about our interests with Darren and we'll see if Elm, oh, is he going to meet Elm? Let's see if Elm uh, is nice to him. Actually, we thought better of it. Uh, Aaron is going to use the bathroom. Oh, oh, perfect. Emma met Olive at school. Nice. Oh my gosh. Emma's done with school for the day. Whoops. We are not going to be hanging out. We are going to go home and get our little girl. Ugh, time just gets away. Alrighty. So let's go in and have Emma do her homework. That comes first. And then afterwards, probably honestly more training. I don't know who we are going to get for Elm. Elm is a nice enough dog to us, but he's pretty aggressive to everyone that isn't us. Aww. Emma's talking to Aaron about fitness. Aaron has put on a little bit of weight. It's a lot of stress, a lot of staying at home. Um, oh, yay, Birch learned to heal. Oreo needs a walk anyway. Let's have Erin go for a jog. I think she's going to be inspired by her daughter talking to her about fitness and loving fitness. Because when you have a kid, you do things that you wouldn't necessarily do if you were alone. So I think Erin's going to be taking better care of herself. I love how Emma's like, no, I'm fine, really. I'll do my homework. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Ooh, Evergreen is an active dog. Oh no, where is she? Oh, she's just playing with her little ball. Man, I can't see anything. Hello, are you guys going? Are you, okay, bye. Emma is low on fun and I think I want her to get some skill building activities. How about, oh, Mother's Earth activity table. I think that's kind of perfect. Let's put that right here. And in the dark, why don't we have her draw some shapes? I feel so bad for her. Okay, let's um, let's get some off the grid lighting. Let's do that a little bit. Let's grab a couple of side tables. Perfect. You know, nothing terribly massive, just so that we can see what we're doing. Oh my gosh, Emma, <laughs> she's uh, she's over here talking, having a great old time. Oh, these puppies. Oh my goodness. All right, well. Clearly, let's pick up the poop before somebody messes in it. Okay, well, we're having a grand old time rolling around. Let's lecture, um, I'm sorry, let's lecture Evergreen about playing in those puddles. Oh, thank goodness, Power Conservation Day is over. Yeah, let's not play in puddles, please. <gasps> Yay, Evergreen learned not to play in puddles. Thank goodness. Oh, look at Erin momming, just making a nice garden salad. And you know what? Emma made a gorgeous picture. I'm going to put that right above her bed. <gasps> Somebody used the bathroom inside. Oh my gosh. Emma, can you pick that up for me? You know what? <laughs> I think that what we can do, let's pause this here. So it looks like we know people in Windenburg, Brindleton Bay, and Henford on Bagley. All right, so really with an aggressive dog, because Elm is ready to go, I would want, you know what? The Chopras might be a good option because Raul, who is Lavinia's son, is a teenager. He's getting ready to age up and go. So Elm could very easily live with them because he is older and more patient. So Elm, I think that that is a perfect place for you. Congratulations, Elm, for getting your new home. And let's have Emma and Aaron talk a little bit. Emma wanted to get to know Aaron. So she's going to talk about her favorite animals with her mom. Oh, that is such a stinky puppy. Oh, evergreen. Oh, the fam. And I know that you guys had talked a little bit because I see Oreo sleeping here and I'm like, oh, look, it's the, the, the like whole fam is here. Um, when we lose Oreo, I had asked you guys last episode if maybe we'd found our new adopted dog within the ones that we have. And the feedback that I got was that we should keep looking. I agree, actually. I think we should let it strike us organically. Not necessarily that we always have to have one, but when we find a pet that either Aaron just really connects with or Emma really connects with, that that is our dog that is a foster sibling to the rest. Oh, Emma is so, wow, it is 11 o'clock at night. Yes, Emma, go to sleep. Erin is starving, so she's gonna get some food. And then you guys, I will see you in the morning. Alrighty guys, it is 6.10. Uh, it's a 
late kind of sleep in morning for Emma. It was a late night. She got woken up. She is just going to get ready for school. Poor Erin didn't get to bed until I don't know when. Uh, she is catching up on some sleep. She will get in the bathroom as soon as Emma is done with it. Oh my gosh, Myrtle woke Erin up. <laughs> <laughs> Myrtle knew. She's like, it is seven in the morning. Your daughter's going to school. Get up. Homework done. Breakfast eaten. Potty and showered. We are crushing it, you guys. <laughs> now, if we could just get these animals moved out a little quicker. I'm going to be sticking pretty close to the house today because I think the puppies are going to be aging up. Oh no, voting is open. We certainly have to vote. We, we don't need another power conservation day. Yay, Emma's off to school. Okay, sweetie, have fun. So she made some friends earlier. Let's have her study hard. Ooh, PE class. Emma's PE class gets to run laps. Lots of them to build their stamina and lung capacity. She's mostly through the first lap when she knows there's a gap under the bleachers. Just the right size for a little rest. Would coach notice if she sat out a few laps? Hmm. Emma's a really hard worker at the house, but I feel like that's because Erin takes the time to be individual with her. I think she's got a little bit of like boundary pushing in her. So I think she would hide out. Emma glances over her shoulder and slides quickly under the bleachers, wedging her body into a nice shady spot. She watches for Kenny, the kid ahead of her. Many restful minutes later, Emma shimmies out finishing her last lap with a groan. Best PE ever. Oh my gosh. Nice job, Emma. <laughs> so uh, try hard in all you do, but if you're not going to, then don't get caught. I guess that's the lesson there. Oh my gosh, guys. Here's all of our dogs. What are Birch's traits anyway? He is independent. He's jumpy and he's adventurous. So I wonder where we're going to place him because he is almost ready for adoption. <gasps> no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Oreo is peeing like right on her shoe. That I might not appreciate. That I can understand being disgusted by. Also, he is continuing to drink out of this puddle. I do not understand that. Perfect. Birches learn not to drink from puddles. Can we now learn to lie down? Is that a thing? Can we do that? Oh, it's okay, buddy. Oh no, don't you start. Knew it. I knew it. Don't you drink from puddles. No, thank you. Yes, Birch has learned to lie down. Now let's lecture that puppy. Hopefully they can learn not to do nasty things before they age up. That would be awesome. Poor fur. She is one of those that really needs to try everything. I'm watching these puppies like a hawk. I am afraid that they are going to age up and I'm going to miss it. <laughs> Ooh, Birch is actually, Birch is ready to go. What am I doing? I think Birch would be awesome for the crumple bottom home. Not for Agnes necessarily, cause she's kind of mean and crotchety, but for Agatha, cause Agatha is wonderful. We love her. So I think that Agatha would love her some Birch. And I think Birch would be able to soften Agnes a little at least to dogs. <laughs> so congratulations Birch, you now have a home. And you guys, you know what that means. Now that we've got a couple of slots open, cause I like to bring them in in multiples, we are going to let the adoption agency know that we have a couple more spots open. Oh, look, the snow is melting. I'm so happy with this. Now just nobody age up. <laughs> That's my ask. Oh, look at Myrtle. Oh, oh, okay. So who do we want? Oh, Sprig is a domesticated fox. <laughs> I actually do not agree at all with owning a domesticated fox. Those animals are meant to be living outside. They are happiest, not in a home. So there's Obi. Oh, Obi's a Newfoundland. I definitely want Obi. Muffin would be a Husky. Sansa would be a Sharpay mix. Muffin the Shih Tzu and Nougat the Havanese. Let's do Sansa. Great name, by the way. <gasps> Hello, adoption friend. And maybe this is our boss, Miss Lily Pittman. Let's do a friendliest introduction. Oh, how cute. I know you guys are homeless, but you won't be anymore. It's going to be really hard to tell Obi and Fur apart until they age up. Well, I guess Obi's tail is up. Fur's is not. This will be so cute to have Emma walk into just new puppies. Yes, we want to adopt Obi. Okay, so Obi is a Newfoundland. So it looks like one of the types of trees that are naturally occurring in Newfoundland is something called a jack pine. I think that naming him jack pine, we could call him Jack, would be super cute. Wait, I'm assuming this puppy is a boy. Yeah, it is a male. Sansa is a female. Okay, yes, we want to adopt Sansa. Sansa is a white dog. I don't know what she's going to end up looking like. Um, so I don't want to use really any from like 
where her breeds are from, but there are trees with white bark. Aspen is one of them, and I think Aspen would be such a cute name. Yay! Friend's birthday. Everyone seems to be talking oh no, about a birthday party that Emma wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was her friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should she ask her friend or let it go? Let's ask her friend. Oops, turns out the party wasn't even for Emma's friend. It was only a show on TV. Emma feels a little silly, but very glad she asked. Oh, good. Wonderful. Okay, so now that we have dealt with the school crisis, look at these cute puppies. What is the matter, Myrtle? Oh, Myrtle's going to sleep. Oh my gosh, how cute. We have a house full of puppies. Should Emma invite over a classmate? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so Emma got a C. That's unfortunate. Lily is leaving. Oh my gosh, Emma. <laughs> so Emma has a, f well, oh, that hasn't been working lately and I'm super bummed about it. So let's just have her chat with her friend a little bit because I think Emma's pretty sensitive about it all. Mom is asking those new puppies to go potty. Guys, I think that this is a good place to leave it. We've had two of our other dogs adopted out. We've made it to 17 puppies. I'm so excited. In the future, I think I've been toying with only releasing an episode of this once we passed like 100 subscriber milestone as a celebration. I started this actually because we we were at 200 subscribers and I think it would be pretty fitting to every time we cross a hundred subscriber milestone, we get a 100 foster puppy challenge episode. That's happening quicker now and I'm super excited about it. Let me know what you feel like in the comments. If not, then we'll just release these weekly because goodness knows I love this series. It is so much fun. It's a little hectic, but it's so much fun. In the meanwhile, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in the next one and as always, happy simming. Thank you.